has been going good. It's positive. We've been getting positive, very positive feedback. Um, like other candidates, you're going to encounter a number of people who are just frustrated with the um, what has been being offered by the Democratic Labour Party and the Barbados Labour Party over the years. And I've been having to encourage some people, do not not vote. Vote. You have options. There are other parties that are running and there's the Alliance Party that's running and we have options at this point in time. It's interesting that you said do not not vote. Um, so have you been hearing from people that they want to stay home and they're not going out to the polls? Yes, most definitely. People are frustrated. If you talk, there's a lot of voter apathy. If you even in this constituency, even though uh, my um, uh, Mr. Topin won by a, a large majority, you will recognize at least 48 percent of voters did not come out. That's significant. That's a significant number. And those are things that we have to look at. You have to understand why is that stopping people from voting. And, you know, the, there, is, there was a lot of apathy, apathy last time with the Democratic Labour Party. And there, is still people, there are still people out there who continue to be like that. And it is to reach some of those people because um, we, we are really at a transition stage in Barbados. And Barbados needs new governance and it needs new candidates who will represent the people and represent them well.